just reverse recorded that whole thing. Dudes. What is up humans? I just reverse recorded this camera, the whole thing. I'm pretty bummed about it. I'm gonna change the exposure because I don't like the exposure on this camera right here. I wonder if I could just move it over here. That's a little better. Feels better, no? Maybe, yeah? I like that. Maybe that's better. Is it better there? No, that's in the shot. Was it in the shot before? Nobody knows. Dear humans, welcome back to Blue Tile. I screwed this up. We're gonna film this again. This is the second take. I never do that, but I uh, reverse recorded my camera too. My B camera was not recording the whole damn time. So we're gonna take a look at this Tom Sachs general purpose shoe. And we're gonna take a look at this uh, crushed Nike SB Dunk Low. So here we go. Let's go ahead and dive into this uh, this guy right here, your general purpose Tom Sachs Nike shoe. This is not an SB, but I got these for myself just so I could wear doing just about anything else other than skating. So I'm gonna wear these around the shop. I might, if I go exploring a building or going hiking or whatever, probably gonna wear this shoe. Um, apparently this shoe is resolable. If you uh, wear the tread out, you can put a new tread on it. Seems difficult. I don't think so, but you could probably do it. Probably wouldn't look as cool, but um, I love these little orange tabs and I like the handwritten font on this thing. So um, I just told this whole big story about why I like this shoe and how it kind of just feels like a shoe, just a normal shoe. Even before I knew anything about the marketing behind this shoe, I thought that just looks like a good shoe. So the story I just told, I just kind of compared this shoe to motorcycles. Whereas like I have two 1978 CB750s that I don't ride anymore. They're honestly, uh, ashamedly rusting in the backyard, which is terrible, but the fire marshal made me take them out of the skate shop and I don't have a garage. So they're just sitting back there under tarps being terrible that motorcycle to me is just a motorcycle it doesn't seem like you're trying to be like some kind of hell's angel or some kind of crotch rocket super guy I'm not trying to do wheelies everywhere I'm just trying to have a nice ride and that's what I feel like these guys are right here just a super simple nice hopefully comfortable shoe I've tried these on but I haven't worn them. They do fit true to size. All right, so this this is a little visit from the future. After wearing the Tom Sachs shoes, just walking in them for a second, I think maybe they run a little big. I could have gotten 11, I think. Crazy. I'm not used to actually being able to size down, but I could have gotten an 11. All right, back to the program. This looks pretty cool. It seems like these kind of like cut edges sometimes can be pretty, pretty stiff, but this is really really soft almost felt like so i think it's just like a layer of suede or pig skin maybe just kind of gross but that's what it is and then this is this memory foam collar looks like that would be pretty comfy and kind of keep you in place uh, this shoe is just for you know for people who are working on their feet all day and they want to create stuff so i think that's me except i'm sitting in a chair all the time editing video but i love this shoe I love the Archive colorway, the Dark Sulfur speaks to me. What do you guys think of this shoe? I'm digging it. I like the Nike Craft, all of the stuff. I like the idea of not trying to reinvent the shoe and just doing incremental evolutions of a shoe. I think I read that somewhere and I like that vibe because it makes sense. Sometimes when you jump too far, you create something that's not very wearable. There you go, that is your Tom Sachs general purpose uh, Nike craft shoe own less do more kind of seems counterintuitive to a sneaker head but I kind of back it I need to sell a bunch of shoes and just get rid of a lot of clothes and just stuff in my life that just piles up so there you go I dig these things what do you guys think of this uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of the uh, GPS shoe the general purpose shoe so um, that's it for the Nike craft. I'm going to put these over here. 
so we can get on to this Dunk Low by Crush Skate Shop. There is your um, olive gray and mantra orange colorway right here. It's a quick strike, obviously by the quick strike box. There you go. Here is a look at your shoe. I really dig this shoe. Um, obviously, this is a shoe that has a lot of rich skateboarding history built into it because I can tell right off the bat that this, this pattern on the sole is reminiscent of a famous skate spot. Um, same here on the tongue. A lot of people are noticing this tongue detail but I'm not 100% sure. I've got an idea that that might also be a skate spot, but I'm not 100% sure, but I think, I think so. So there's your tongue label with crushed DC on there. Um, this marbled swoosh looks really nice. It's like kind of a plastic swoosh. Your heel on this guy here, and then of course your crushed logo on the inside of the tongue as well. Um, this also looks like some truck holes so if you were looking at the top of the skateboard you might see the green veneer and the um, truck holes drilled into the board so you can mount your trucks on there comes with white laces standard and it has these cool little aglets that are colored on there um, one thing I wanted to point out that I think is really kind of crazy is um, look at the depth of this right here the Phylon midsole is really sunken down into the sole of the shoe, which is different than normal. And if you look real close, it's got some pattern to it. It's like it's textured. So it almost feels like even though this I know is purposefully done to represent a skate spot, I think that it also kind of looks like the Nike regrind. Well, it looks like this is sort of Nike regrind as well. So maybe there's some recycled story to this. I don't know that. I'm just looking at that. I think more so this is like based off of skate spots, but I've never seen that Phylon midsole look like that before. So that's kind of sick. What do you guys think? There's your toe down. Um, I will try these on in a second so you can see how they fit. This has your turn and stitch toe cap which just is a different type of stitching method that they use on the toe of the SB dunks so that when you pop these threads from Ollie wear or doing tricks, your toe and your vamp, your vamp and your mustache do not uh, separate. So your toe box stays intact from Ollie wear. This right here, if you look, you can lace behind this little flap and you protect these two laces also from Ollie wear. Um, and then you also have your memory foam heel pods, similar to that Tom Sachs I just showed you. Um, um, here are your two additional, so you get three laces. Yeah, you get your olive gray lace here with um, your cool aglet design on these as well. And then also you get this this orange, uh, mantra orange with your, your aglet on here. Boom, there you go. Here is a look at your insoles. They are both the same. Um, you got your crushed and Nike SB logo there on the heel. And then you got your uh, little bit of graffiti and brick pattern on there. Pour on forefoot for more impact absorption. And of course your Zoom Air insole, which is always awesome. I always brag about these insoles. If you haven't skated or if you haven't worn a SB dunk and you're always wearing regular dunks like the Pandas, try these. They're 10,000 times better and you will forget about your Pandas if you just get one SB dunk, probably. There you go. Um, here's the other one, just so you can see. It is the same. Put them side by side. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. And I think that's it. Guys, tune in tomorrow. I am doing an um, interview with Brian Aguilar from Crush Skate Shop. Um, so we're going to get all the details. I didn't want to spoil the details with this video, but I did want to have a close look at the shoes for you. So tune in tomorrow, and we're going to have that Zoom interview with Brian from Crush in D.C. It should be awesome. I'm a little nervous because I've never done a Zoom interview. 
on the channel. So I've done one with Mark Kowalcha, which was a FaceTime call, and I don't know how well that went, but it was there, and we did it, and he did some art on camera and stuff. So anyway, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, all the best. Love, Blue Tile. Goodbye. 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 All right, dudes, easy enough. I'm just gonna wrap this up right here. The Crush Dunks fit true to size. If you're an 11 and a half, get an 11 and a half. Um, sorry the lights are so bright, but that's it. Thanks for watching, all the best. Love Blue Tile.